pound for pound sports entertainment hit the like button comment below share do all of that right now if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button for your boy right now it's your host f merit listen man the wba has granted laura and danny garcia special permission to have their fight i believe august 5th if i'm not mistaken okay and with that being said this fight is going to be might be at a catch weight 158 160 it doesn't matter bottom line is laura gets his fight against danny garcia danny garcia has always been on record saying i want to fight laura i want to get that title shot this is a great opportunity for uh danny garcia might be his last chance at a big fight last chance at a, a title especially at 160 i mean he just had a fight at what 154 now you moving up again at 160 um laura been out the ring for a minute but you know champion nonetheless legend in the game um great a lot of great fights that laura has been in he wants a big name and danny garcia is a big name and guess what i like this fight i like it on paper i can't wait till august for this fight to finally happen we'll see who wins this fight but the WBA had to, um, you know, agree to this. This They came to an agreement. And at the end of the day, I believe it, it says in, in the case, in this case, the community, committee decided to grant the request to the Laura team as long as they comply with all the championship rules. On the other hand, the winner between Laura and Garcia or Laura should the fight end in a draw. And, yeah, should the fight end in a draw is obligated to fight Zarafa within 120 days after the bout. Now, A, they also said Zarafa has the option of, you know, sitting out and just waiting for the winner or taking a stay busy fight in between. If he took a stay busy fight in between, A, I would imagine, you know, listen, I'm already going to get the winner. And you can go two ways about that. You can take an easy fight where you know you're going to beat the guy. Okay, cool. But if you lose that fight, then that's uh, going to be a pretty big drop off. Or you could take another big fight, get another payday. You know, it is what it is. I don't know. But if I'm Zarafa, depending on how long I've been out the ring, I would take an easy fight, you know, stay busy, look good, go out there, get a good paycheck, and then you know you kind of got, you know, you're a shoo-in for the winner uh, of Laura and Danny Garcia. So we'll see what happens with that. But listen, you see it right there, Laura, Laura and Gar and Danny Garcia. The winner has to take on Zarafa within 120 days after their bout. We'll see what happens with that. But thank, hey, salute to the WBA for for granting special permission for for Laura and Danny Garcia to actually happen in August. I'm looking forward to that fight, man. Listen, I don't know who's gonna win it. I don't know where this fight would be at, but I I wouldn't mind you know having this fight in Miami. You know, Laura is a Cuban fighter. They have a very obviously a big Cuban following there. He would get a lot of support. Danny Garcia is Puerto Rican. We got some Puerto Ricans down there in Miami too, baby. You know what I'm saying? But hey, we'll see what happens. I would like to see that fight in Miami. Or maybe you could put it with Barclays Center. Yeah, that's, that's a good destination. You know, Danny Garcia is Puerto Rican. You know, it is what it is. He's, he's been in a lot of big fights in, in the Barclays Center. We'll see what happens with that. Anyway, like I said, August, we're looking forward to Danny Garcia against Laura, 160 championship on the line. The WBA belt is on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. It's your host, F. Merritt, Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. I'm out.